Hi ladies, it's Dawn and I wasn't going to make a video today, but I got super excited because I got a delivery today from Vitacost and I ordered a couple of things from Vitacost, which is a healthy natural store where you can find a lot of vitamins, food products, cosmetics and bath and body products that are cleaner and greener than conventional products. And often the prices are excellent at Vitacost. You don't, it's not like a club like Costco or anything where you need to belong to it to shop there. It's just an online website and you can go on there and order things. And that's often where I do all my shopping for my shampoos, conditioners, bath and body products, and much of my makeup. So Vitacost is a great place to shop. And I placed a small order of just some cosmetics the other day. I actually placed an order for all my bath, body, vitamins, and some food items, and that box came. And I had a couple of items that I saved for later that I didn't stick in with that order because I didn't want to overspend. So then I did go back and buy the two items because I really wanted one and needed the other. So the first one that I needed, and I wanted to really show this to you because I get a lot of questions about what kind of sunblock I like to wear on my face. Now for my body, I wear Neutrogena sunblock. That's just what I like. Sometimes I wear sun balm because sun balm has a coconut, banana, fragrance and it reminds me of summertime so sometimes in the summertime I really enjoy wearing sun balm and sun balm is a cleaner um, product line but I also just use Neutrogena although not 100% clean it is hypoallergenic and um, fragrance free and I like the way that Neutrogena sunblocks feel on my skin. I don't often like to wear sunblock beneath my makeup though unless it's in one of my moisturizers or in my makeup itself. So this is my all-time favorite sunblock for my face and it is wonderful because you can reapply it during the day and it won't mess up your makeup and it is the mineral fusion spf 30 brush on sun defense it won an award from women's day magazine it's an spf 30 naturally silky oil-free powder and it's um translucent on all skin tones and it comes in this box i'm just going to do a little unboxing here i haven't opened it yet but I have purchased this several times before. And this is what it looks like. This is my fresh new one. I keep it in my purse. I have one that I keep on my vanity and one I keep in my purse. And all you have to do is really just kind of tap it and then it will come down into this very, very soft brush. I did purchase one in the past from, I think, um, I want to say it was Peter Thomas Roth I believe, and the brush was a little stiff and I didn't like the way it felt on my skin. This brush is my favorite. This and Color Science, but Color Science is considerably more. I'll put the price of this one across the screen, but I think the Color Science one is like in the 40 some dollar range. And this one I think is like $30, if even that. And on Vita Cost, you can often get discounts and 20% off and things like that. So it's now kind of primed onto my brush, I can see it. And then you just brush it onto your skin it does not change the color of your makeup. It gives you a nice SPF. And then during the day, I even get my eyelids. You can reapply it. And you can get your neck, the backs of your hands if you're in your car. It's just so convenient. And one of these, although it doesn't look like a lot, will last me all summer long. So I always repurchase one every winter and every summer and so twice a year it gets me through the year so this is my favorite and i'll link it below in the description box the next thing that i ordered was something i did not need but something i've been wanting for a long time and it was 50 percent off so i took the plunge ewg verified perfectly clean score from the environmental working group so it is a clean palette it's by my favorite natural cosmetics brand mineral fusion and this is their first and i believe only complete palette where it's a palette that has all the colors you need for a complete eye look now many of you have seen i use these often on my channel channel and this is what mineral fusion usually has for us these trios and this is one of my favorites and i've done an eye look with it they're very creamy very blendable. Um, they are clean and um, I can't say enough about these, but I have like a little stack of these. I think I have four or five of them in different colors. And sometimes I mix and match the colors from different trios. 
but I was super excited when last year Mineral Fusion came out with this complete palette. And I think it retailed for about $35, $36. And I heard some so, so reviews of it on YouTube. Um, I heard some great reviews and then I heard some not so great reviews just in terms of it not really being a complete palette. Um, so I just held off, but now that it was on sale and I know I love the formulation, I thought I would take the plunge and get it. Now, if you don't know Mineral Fusion, like I said, it's EWG verified, so it's all clean and it's not a super high luxury clean brand like Chantecaille or Kerouis. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Some of those really high-end brands. This is more on par with what you would find at um, like Tarte maybe, um, It Cosmetics, Lancome, those kind of mid-range brands. So the, the formulation and the way it performs is very similar to higher-end cosmetics, but more in the mid-range price point. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a nice biodegradable box, and I'm, I've never opened it before, so I'm seeing it for the first time with you. It's got a great big mirror here. It's Oh, it's got an eyeliner. I didn't know it had an eyeliner, and I'm super happy about that. I was getting ready to do a look, and I was going to use my Vapor eyeliner, so I'll just go ahead and put that aside, and I'll use this one. And it looks like it has a cosmetic brush, and I don't have any, any Mineral Fusion brushes, but like I said, I really love the brush that comes in this, so I'm feeling optimistic that it will be a good brush. Um, and then it's got this plastic cover. Oh, and I like that it flips up and covers the mirror and just goes back down. It doesn't come out and you don't toss it away. Or you could, you could pull it out, but I think I'm gonna leave that in there. All right, so let's swatch these colors. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six colors. And it looks like it's got one matte and the rest are a little bit shimmery but not super shimmery. This one is probably the most shimmery of them all. And this looks like a matte. And these do look like, oh, that might be, I think that's a shimmer too. But like I'm looking at them now, I can't really tell if some of them are shimmers. So let's just swatch these. I hope you could see that. I'm gonna bring it in closer when I'm done. It's got two similar shades here. Well, not really. This this one and this one. This and this look shimmery, but you can see this one's a much deeper one. Okay, let's go with the purple. And then it looks like it's got a charcoal here. And let me wipe off my fingers. Okay, so it's got like the creamy vanilla, sort of a peachy pink, more of a brownish, color that it's got this more um mauvey i don't know i don't even know what you would call that like a mauvey peachy color then you've got it's, this is supposed to look like a purple a little bit a deep purple and then you've got your charcoal black so that's what they look like it's got a dual-sided brush and it is very, very fluffy. It's a little bit dense, but it's not rough at all. It looks like a nice brush. And then it's got the little fine angle for a lining on this end. And here is the eyeliner. And it's just a beautiful, looks like it's just a nice soft black. So, okay, so I went and I did one eye very quickly and I thought I would come on here and do the other eye. I wanted to do one first because I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do since I've never used this palette before. And I'm pretty happy with the look I achieved. It is a very smoky look and this is a very velvety palette. Everything is very creamy, very velvety to put on and I'm very impressed with the formulation. Um, all the colors seem to lean cool, which I love because I love cool colors, but um, they definitely are a little on the dramatic side and I think you could use this for a nice everyday look too if you just avoid these two deeper colors down here on the end. So let me just show you what I did. The first thing I did is I went in with this color right here, this deeper color of the two kind of pinky colors. It's like a brownie pink. I don't know what you'd call that, mauve, I think. And I just swirl the brush around in the outer corner here. 
and I actually brought it all the way up to my brow bone and went in about in and above my crease with it. And I'm just using a Tarte brush. This is the brush that came with my Tarte Toasted Palette. And then I used the Mineral Fusion brush to go in with the purple shade right here. And I did the windshield wiper again in my crease and above my crease. And I just really built that up. Like I said, it's so creamy and velvety. When I went, was um, trying to remove the swatches from my fingers, I actually had to go in the bathroom and use soap and water because I was spraying my fingers with this rose water spray and wiping them off. And it really, the colors were really staying put. So I think that's a good sign for how these colors will wear during the day. Um, I'm going into the outer corner with this. Okay, now I'm just going to take, I don't even know what this brush is. I'm gonna go ahead and take this creamy vanilla color and do the inside of my mobile lid and the inner corner. And then I have a blending brush. I'm just blending up and out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna build up a little bit more here to make it symmetrical with the other eye. I think the deep purple and this peachy brownie pink is so beautiful together. Okay, and this is very creamy, and I like this very much. I'm going to line my upper lash line. My lower lash line. And I'm going to tight line and do my water line. Okay, I'm gonna put my mascara on. I'm just using the Dream Big from Pacifica. Okay, there you have it. I'll bring you in closer so you can look. Okay, I think I really like this palette a lot. Like I said, this is the very first time I'm using it. I did the, I went ahead and did the smoky eye. I'm so impressed with it with my first use and it did not disappoint. I expected the colors to be very pigmented, very creamy, very blendable, and it definitely meets my expectations. Like I said, it is now on a sale for 50% off on Vitacost. And um, this is one I think you might really like and wanna get your hands on, particularly if you like um, neutrals and cooler tones. Although it's got a lot more shimmers than mattes, in fact, I didn't even use the matte. These are all shimmers that I use today. They're not overly shimmery. I feel like they just really make my eyes look very bright. So um, yeah, it's a winner. So thank you for spending some time with me. I hope that you liked this little demo and review of the Mineral Fusion Eye Palette. And if you did, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you all have a very blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.